Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to AVX Live. I'm Joe Gilderson, president of Corporate Audio Visual Services. And once again, Mr. Ryan Finch has returned to join I, us at AVX. I thought you were going to forget your lines there. It was, a, it was a real pregnant pause. It was a dramatic pause. I forgot my name. It's I been mean, a while. I dude, you haven't been here in a while. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm here now, and that's what counts. Very nice. And I see you have some nice surroundings today. Very, I do. Uh, I took a, uh, I can pull the barn doors back if we, oh, no, no, Hello. don't, don't do no, that. No. We're not ready for that today. <laughs> that really almost came down. <laughs> Good start. I, I mean, we've got so much happening today. This is going to be a fun episode. If we could very quickly, this, by the way, this could go totally wrong in two seconds. Mm -hmm. But look at what we have going on here. Oh, right now. wow. Behind I the mean, scenes. This is a little behind the scenes action. And again, who knows what may happen. So we're going to take this one out for a second because I don't want to spoil all the fun here. Either way, Mr. Finch, it is a pleasure to have you back. You know, last week, you weren't around. You might have missed the best episode of 2022. What? I'm just saying you might have missed the wow. best episode. We had two major announcements. Oh, okay. All right. I, th I think I know where you're going with this. That does qualify. Absolutely. Now, one of them was we we're telling people about Pirate University. It's going to happen August 31st and September 1st. Maybe we have an image that we could put up on. Oh, look at that. It's like it's on cue. Unbelievable. <laughs> August 31st, September 1st, Pirate University training once again. Ninth straight year. Another hybrid event experience. We can't wait. Awesome. Now, there was a second announcement, too. The second announcement, we might even have a little video clip for. We do. Mr. Do you want Finch, to cue that up? You're on, baby. Go for it. Okay, here we go. Rolling. That was actually, Joe, we have, I don't know if you noticed, we actually have a comment from the audience from Kaporit Audio, whatever. That was the best video I've ever seen. Yeah, no, absolutely. Kudos. Wow. That is, yeah. that, that is beyond words. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you're off script. I mean, first the walls almost fall and now you get your own comments. That's great. Either way, well, it was a nice video. I think the important part is they were opening an office in Midtown Manhattan, right by Jacob Javits, the Manhattan Center, and the world's most famous arena. So we're right there, 37th between 8th and 9th. You can't miss us. And we're looking forward to seeing everybody real soon who's down in Midtown Manhattan. Now, Mr. Finch, I know we want to get into this episode pretty quick. We Why don't you tell people how they can find us and be a part of this extravaganza going on today? Okay. Well, you can be a part of this extravaganza on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, all live, all the time. Well, specifically on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. That's when it's live. Afterwards, you can, you know, watch it, watch the replay. You can also drop us a comment if it's live and be part of the show, which is nice. You know, a little bit of live interaction. Uh, if you do not happen to do that, well, then you can at least like, comment, share, subscribe, all the above. You can do that whether you're watching it live or not. And of course, if you go over to Instagram and Facebook after this, assuming there's something of value, I think there will be, you'll find some little highlights and snippets shared there, the chunkable pieces uh, that you can take a look at afterwards. So yeah, I think, uh, did I did I miss anything? No, I, I think you nailed that one. Okay, there we go. I, nice I mean, I wasn't snappy. sure. I wasn't sure what was going to happen being, you know, with this off time you've had. It is a special day, though. I mean, I, it's, the, it's the energy of production level, right? I'm well, very excited. you know, we do have a little different energy. So we're going to go to the behind the scenes shot before we bring in our next guest. If our, if our cameraman could show some of the behind the scene action, that would even be better. But might not have headphones in so we're going to go beyond that 
let's take him <laughs> on for a second. <laughs> and, you know, we, uh, not too long ago, we had two very special guests on. And they had really just joined the company. And so we thought, you know, they're celebrating their one year anniversary. What better time to bring them back to the show to go from episode 23 to episode 57? This is good stuff. So we did things a little bit differently today. So, Mr. Finch, why don't you bring on our esteemed colleagues, Marissa Madonia and Alexa Lilos? You are so esteemed. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back to the show, I should say. This is good. I mean, we, we have never actually had two people side by side on this show. It's real. We're live. This oh, is yeah. real live. This like, is no you, you've reporters. let us out. You've let us out of the cubicles. We're out. We even have a wild card in the mix. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, Ed has recognized our wild card. I apparently buy his shots. I'm not yeah. sure. But. And and a good question from Mike Dartano out of the gate. What took them so took us so long to get them back on the show? Joe, I blame you. We have very uh, okay. busy schedules, a lot going on. Okay. Well, they've they've obviously quickly become important members of the team, and they're busy doing stuff. So there you go, Mike. That's the answer. They're active. You know what are you going to do? I mean, they're they're earning their keep. They're a big That's... part of everything around here. Absolutely. Oh, thanks. Thanks, oh, and guys. I, I, we're getting we're getting a little oh, bit of room. Yeah, this is what we wanted before. All right. So. All right. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Camera yeah. two. Oh no, not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Too, too soon. soon. Too soon. Well, it, it can get. Uh, you know, once you start putting people in a room and you're streaming things and you have live and hybrid, it, it can get a little more involved. But that's that's part of the fun. That's why we do this show. And today's a fun episode. So listen, we're gonna get we're gonna ask some really hard questions. <laughs> we have prepped them zero. We've had no I mean, prep. None. I mean, we're zero. lucky to even have Maurice on that <laughs> camera. I mean, I don't even know how he's doing it right now. <laughs> oh, Cleaning the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, camera two. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now, see, that's the fun part. Listen, we're going to start with Alexa first, okay? And, uh, Alexa, I got to ask you, before we get into the very detailed specifics of what your one year's experience has been like, why don't you tell us about your overall feeling of working in audiovisual production? Um, it's definitely opened my eyes and changed the way I look at concerts, just being out in general. I sent Ryan a picture the other week and I was like, wow, I can't look at anything now without recognizing the microphones, the speakers. It just really opens up to how everything is really put together. Yeah, we uh, we did have that conversation. It, it, I said, you know, now you can't unsee all of this. It, it's just yeah, now exactly. going to be. In, you're gonna. I said you're gonna be like the dads in the New Balance when the <laughs> when the plumber's working on something. Like, yep, yeah, you gotta, you know, right in there. Yep, yeah. There you go. You, no looking back. Well, how about you, Marissa? What uh, what what would you say? Uh, well, it's true. Once you start going to the events, now it's changed your perspective of where you're looking at the event. So I look at the corner back and make sure that the tech table is set up. I make sure the lights are, are on. Uh, but also in terms of the details, I think it's in the details. Um, and what I've sort of noticed is that people don't know what they don't know. And so I think that's really opened my eyes to asking the right questions. And so that's what I've learned. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And yes, indeed, it does look like you are sitting in a lounge. So that's, it's always nice. Thank you, Mike. It's like a fireside chat with us. It is like a fireside chat. And we do a lot of those. So we do. Oh, camera two. <laughs> <laughs> the wink and the gun. That's, that's, that's what makes it. There you it's go. A horrible angle. From the <laughs> well, don't worry. We're, we're going to try not to use that angle too much for you today. Thanks, Mr. Gilderson. How about this angle? <laughs> oh, they okay. got him wearing pants. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I think that's good for everybody. Yes. Oh, yeah, otherwise, Insperity would be calling Insperity. in. Right yeah. I think I got them in the other ear. They're anyway. watching the live stream. I'm sweating. There's, I have them on so IFD right now. So listen, this time we're going to start with Marissa. Tell everyone your role at Corporate AV and just how it's developed over the last year. <sighs> Development. That is such a, uh, a fun word to say because it's not instant. Right. So development means you need time to actually develop. 
And, you know, our first year, I think, was about meeting our clients, making new clients and, you know, having them build that trust uh, of why they would come back to us. And so my role in particular is to really um, form relationships, keep them going strong and uh, give them a great show at the end. All right. And what do you think, you know, as far as the relationships, you talk about trust, right? Yeah. What do you think is the, I'd say the, the hardest part of developing that kind of relationship that you're looking for? Well, you want to get in on the early stages of the conversation. And so once they see that your work is, you know, great, then they want to come back and they'll bring you in early. And I think that's what you look for in these key in these key clients and these key relationships is making sure you're in it before they even choose the next date for the next year. Absolutely. Oh, very nice. Well, all right. How about uh, same question, Alexa? How about you? Uh, so I am an account manager. And I think my role has kind of been formed over time here. Um, I'm definitely working with clients as well, you know, setting up different shows, but I've taken like kind of the, the backseat of being a part of the social media, making sure those short little clip cuts and things like that. Uh, we're actually starting to plan Pirate U now. So all the promotion for that stuff, it's been good. All right. Well, there you go. Well, look, hey, the the longer you spend somewhere, the more uh, areas that you find that you can contribute. And that's, you know, certainly mm -hmm. been true. So whether you're, you know, answering calls and, and writing orders or chopping up the snippets that you see on Instagram and Facebook. Wait, hold on. There we go. <laughs> right here. There you go. And LinkedIn. You and LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I, and if, well, if I, I can have... chime in for a second. So I rewatched our first episode. And we talked a lot about coming from the nonprofit sector into the roles that we are now. And I think that was extremely helpful. I think being able to see it from both sides yeah. of the table um, mm -hmm. and really talk to the clients about, yes, we, we know what you need and we know we've been there, we've been on the deadline, we've been on the budget conversation, but you also need to think about the program right. and what goes into that. So Absolutely. it's been helpful in my conversations. Yeah. We did. We did talk a lot about the the past experiences and, yeah, and what you could use. All right. So now a year a year ahead, sounds like you were able to use that. Is that right? That's Definitely, correct. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me feel like a little more comfortable because we have now the dual background of we know what you guys are going through, but we can help you to figure out what's the next phase and how to complete the show, make it run smoothly. Absolutely. Plus, we have an incredible team. A shout out to the team, to the operations team and the management here. They are rock solid. Love this guy, love that guy. <laughs> yeah. And they, they make us look good. I know they make the clients look good, but they make us as salespeople look good too right. because you know they, they put their money where their mouth is, right? They, they get Absolutely. the show done and they make it look perfect. Well, and we're the ones making a lot of the promises and Correct. they're the ones delivering them. That's you know, right. so it's nice to, uh, you know, to have people who can deliver on that. And and then they come and they, you know, it feels a little, uh, 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 what's the word? Unfair, right? They come and thank us. Like, thank you so much. I'm like, well, look, the, the guys on site. Best. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah. there were a lot of buttons and, and yeah. cables and stuff that I had no part in. So exactly. and nor would you want me doing that in any case. Joe, Very what do you think? Good. Uh, I think it's uh, time to find out what has been the most exciting event or experience uh, that Alexa's worked on so far. Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, my first, my first thought is to say Pirate University because honestly, I really I enjoyed watching that all come together and being a part of it. Um, it's it just it was such a cool experience, and I'll, not only just to be a part of, but also to learn while I was there too because. I was pretty new as well. So learning while I was going with it was, it was really fun. It was a good time. So definitely make sure you come. If you're interested, sign up. Be Excellent plug. That well was the, done. That was the PC answer. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't choose my favorite event. I can't choose a favorite client. So I'm going to go with Pirate You No. <laughs> well, Marissa, you know what's about to happen, right? No, tell me. I am going to ask you the exact oh. same question. Oh, boy. So I love, I love events um, and I love our clients. So I'm just going to go with a vague answer of, I like a lot of moving parts and I like the events that maybe just don't happen only in one day. So maybe mm -hmm. some sort of three day event. I really enjoy. I like seeing the pieces of the puzzle come together. I like seeing the breakdown and coming back up the next day and what needs to happen for that. So I just, I like longer events, not just the, 
the one and done. Well, you know, what's funny about that. Joe actually really likes multi-day events too. <laughs> So you have that in common. Well, how nice. Well, absolutely. No, it, 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 there's there's no doubt that when you get to spend more time on site, right, it's not just a, you know, a, a quick setup show strike and you're done. A lot of the time it's like you blink your eyes and it's all over. You've been planning absolutely. it for months and then it's gone. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, especially in like the conference setting, I, I think you're absolutely right. You know, I also think, you know, getting back to your earlier point about relationships, it's something about that kind of shared experience. Like uh, I went to bed very late and I'm up very early and we're back at it again. And, and I think that really kind of, you know, it, it really drives home the, the, you know, relationship building aspects of the, of the entire process. Absolutely. Ryan, I agree. Yes. And indeed, Mike. Yeah. I think, I think that might've been why he liked it, but you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. Um, we do have a follow-up question. Uh, Alexa, what was it like singing with wireless mic in the analogs? I, I don't think uh, anybody picked that as their favorite event. I don't know if you can count that as an event, but that was a good time. I only saw it in a clip. I, was I, I wasn't there live. Wow. Well, who was it? Lizzo? That. Was it Lizzo? Lizzo? Me and Aaron, yeah. we were killing it singing. That's right. Lizzo. Oh, you gave Aaron a shout, shout out. out to you Aaron. Him. You wanted a shout oh, out. That's nice. That's very nice. So you guys are definitely real team players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have seen lots of pictures of you guys. I'm always in the middle. Around. Why am I always in the middle? Not taking the pictures. <laughs> I mean, oh. it, this is pretty impressive Should stuff. The All these, I'll yeah. cry. these, these oh smiling man, I, bases. I blew it on the music. I said yeah. I was going to play it. No, no surprise there. But <laughs> it, you're a little late there, pal. Man. All right, now we're playing music. We're we're doing a new thing it's here on AVX late. Live. Nope. We're playing music in the background. It's too late. Keep the energy going. <laughs> it's not too late. It's not too late. There's it's never too late. We're going off the watching. rails, Ryan. We're going off the rails. <laughs> it's never too late. Well, we went on the rails to begin with. We started that way. <laughs> no, I mean, we definitely did start off the rails. There's no question about that. All right. So let's go to some of the things that maybe that you, you've learned or some challenges along the way. Marissa, let's start with you this time. See, the music really driving. The now, I, now I'm distracted. I'm so, so listen, distracted. What would you say have been maybe some of your biggest learning experiences over the last year? I think it's the equipment it, at first. I mean, I, I know production, but I don't know equipment. And I, when I'm trying to sell the equipment, I'm trying to figure out what's best for the client, what's best for the space. And so I really had to learn what pieces of equipment <laughs> would, <laughs> would, sit, would sit perfectly in the space. So I did a lot of site visits um, and I tried to know the space better uh, so that I can figure out where, where the pieces should go, like Tetris. That makes a lot of sense. Well, and look, that's always been, you know, our kind of thought process here is that the, the equipment side is something that is learnable, uh, you know, that it's just, you know, it's, it's logic and it's facts and it's, you know, memorizing in, in some cases, but, um, you know, understanding the, the basic pieces of the puzzle and what they do. And, you know, that's all, that's all teachable things, but it's the soft skills, the people skills, um, you know, the things that obviously the two of you bring to the table that are, are just harder to find in our, you know, uh, at least in, in, you know, the opinion of the person who, uh, <laughs> who steers this boat. And I, and I happen to agree. So oh, look at that camera three made an appearance. Wow. Women oh. power, by the way. Yeah. Sweet. Yes. Women in AV. Yay. Women in AV. That Sorry. should be a, it's hashtag. a new hashtag. Yeah, that's it. It Women sounds like AV. a hashtag. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there you go. That's it. Oh, yeah. Girl power. Good stuff. Good All stuff. right. So, uh, Alexa, same question. What has been the, you know, the biggest learning experience or, or challenge that you faced uh, over the course of the last year? Uh, similar to Marissa, like learning the equipment was a big one for me too. just being able to put an order together and go through and be like, OK, audio, which parts the input, which parts the output, like how is everything, you know, flowing smoothly? I remember sitting with Ryan a lot of times having to be like, he'd be like, well, where is this coming in? And I'd be like, hmm, I guess I didn't put that in there. Um, also, just being able to um, learn about that, like when everything was a little bit more virtual, having the hybrid events, it was a learning curve to understand the signal flow and all those beautiful charts that Ryan ended up making uh, that helped a lot. Um, and just just the overall learning about the industry and you know learning how everyone operates here and how we become a team a team sport here too team sport oh i like that <laughs> well look in, in fair in your defense right hybrid was a learning curve for absolutely everyone right. our clients us 
other think, people in the space. It's still, a, it's still a learning right. curve, right? I mean, Try, trying to help the client really understand it because I had to understand it first and then portray that to them because I think they thought it was just as simple as, yeah, just set the camera up. That's fine. But, you know, we had to kind of go through the different options. How high quality of a show do you want it to appear online? And online, you know, virtual show is a little bit different than in person. So you're setting up two different shows. There's right. a lot of moving parts to it. Right. Well, look, not to toot my own horn, but it is a good thing that we had a chart master around. Oh, gosh. That's always helpful. Is my mom not watching? I told my mom to watch. Mom. Ma. Two, are you there? <laughs> mom. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. And you thought we were going off the rails before. Jeez. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. We don't have the analytics just yet. Okay. All right. So we don't know if she's but, watching. But yet. when we do... <laughs> I'm gonna make a chart out of it. I feel yes. like there's a, I feel like yes. there's a video coming. Yes. But <laughs> there could be. I, oh, we don't have one queued up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, was has there been anything kind of unexpected over the last year? And I, I'll let either one of you guys choose. Unexpected. That's, that's all wow, that was good. <laughs> Did you practice that? Layla's yes. <laughs> Oh, is it is it Layla time? Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. Nice I'm wearing that shirt. How embarrassing! Yeah. <laughs> sorry, That's okay. You if you watch all of these AVX videos, I'm fairly certain I'm wearing this exact shirt in at least maybe thirty percent of them. Which I rewatched our last a lot. episode, so I wasn't in the same outfit, and then you you called me out. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, man, that's a shame. All right, well, hey, look, unexpected. Layla's unexpected. 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 What do we got? A lot of moving parts. Um, it really takes a lot to talk to the departments. We have to really, we have to be a part of the conversation weeks, days before an event that happens. So I think just making sure we manage that time appropriately has sort of been um, something I've had to work on a little more than I thought I would. Okay. A good answer. Um, good answer. I would say the volume of events that came in for this year, uh, specifically, just because everyone kept putting it off or doing virtual. So that was pretty unexpected of just how many events, you know, watching the team in the back just put it all together and everyone kind of was just go, go, go. But it was really amazing uh, to watch it all piece together. I ran sound once. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> All yeah. hands on deck. You're an, a, you're an A1 now. That's it. All, all hands on deck. I, I love I guess that mentality. Rate's going up. That's my it. rate's going up. Sorry. Your rate's going up. <laughs> on air talent. Check. Hold on. Camera two. Anyway. No, rate's man. going up. How's this? <laughs> That's as close to camera two as you're getting today. <laughs> oh, man. Well, look, that's actually a, a, a well made point, right? Because this was the first, we'll call it traditional feeling, busy season. Uh, and it was, uh, I would say, you know, one for the uh, for the record books as well in terms of how crazy and how fast and, you know, nuts everything was coming in. This actually gets to a uh, points to a question that we got from the audience here. Supply chain issues, you know, and, and a lot of this, your experience was really our shared experience. But uh, do you want to talk to any of that? Like, what, what did you see? What, what were the challenges that we faced? And, you know, how what was your role in, in helping mitigate them? Well, I think there was a labor shortage, not just in our industry, but oh, yeah. around the world. Um, I think finding equipment that needed to match was also uh, could be a hindrance to something, right? If you need five 80 inch flat screens, you know, uh, we have four, maybe we have to go get another one, you know? So it's, I think it was just seeing what that process was like and working with partners. I mean, that's why we make other partners, not just clients. We, we make partners in other of, of the same industry as ours. Absolutely. Well, well, well made points. It's also a reason why we are continuously training people, right, mm -hmm. to try and, you know, offset that labor shortage. We got to get the next wave of people in here. What a segue. Speaking of, <laughs> last year's Pirate U videos are still available with great lessons on hybrid event production. Thank you, Ed. God, Ed, Ed taught, you're the best. Ed actually taught probably one of the most, um, you know, poignant uh, pieces of hybrid uh, technology, you know, 
lessons that you could really look for in the you know in the world today and that was audio routing for hybrid events that was always the first place that people would get burned is that audio got messy and so we had a true expert in ed come in and uh, do a, a training session for for our team and, and for everybody watching uh, you know in person and remote and those available those videos are still available another nice part about doing it hybrid is the recordings live somewhere so um, we should probably post the link to where those are I think that would be the normal, logical next step here. I, but, I think uh, the, the code word of 2020 was pivot, right? That was the word. And this year was mix minus. Mix <laughs> minus, sure yeah. The, the hashtag <laughs> for this year was mix minus, so. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a very good point as well. Joe, hold on. If you got anything to contribute here, please do, <laughs> because I am going to look for a link to Ed's audio routing session i feel like i feel pretty good that i'm going to find it pretty well quickly. <laughs> i do have something to contribute because august 31st and september 1st we're back on so that Boom. audio for hybrid yeah. events is still going to be needed and uh a little bird has told me that one ed willick may be involved again Ooh. we will see he's a very busy man but we may have him back and uh you know he he's been excellent is this the link that's the link uh you can't it's click it from nice. the video but it's in the video it's in the comments there we go so click there that you and go. you can see ed's tutorial on audio routing for hybrid events so we'll have some uh, some some nice content coming from him once again it sounds like well i think we're gonna have some nice content coming from a lot of different people we're working on some new technology right now you we mean like this oh gosh <laughs> What Can we? Happening? Are we going to learn about overhead shots? <laughs> well, this isn't exactly how we would do most overhead shots, but sure, we'll cover that. You know, we're just trying to make it interesting today and have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Actually, that... can I get a selfie while we're all here? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hold on. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no problem. See, that's a nice thing about having the music in the background, right? You don't have any awkward silence. It's just the energy keeps going. Right. I'm a huge fan. Huge yeah, fan. The music's low on our on our. Hey, ears, let's so. keep it like that. That's a good place. Nope, no, too bad. No, no this All is. Right. All right, fine, fine. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, listen, uh, I do have another question for both of you. Uh, what do you think has been, I guess, the biggest positives about being in this environment for the last year? Um, I think just being able to honestly, I liked being a part of nonprofit world, but. Being on the other side, I feel it's a little more manageable to kind of get the parts all moving in the way, like just keeping everyone flowing, saying we need, you know, to keep everything on track. Um, they're doing kind of the deadline work, but we're doing the production side of it and seeing it all come together is very rewarding. Um, and I think just, yeah, like I said, being a, being a part of it on this end, has just been a really great thing. Also the positives for within our own little circle here, I really loved, we do that, uh, Leadership every Friday. Haven't done it in a while, but it's been a great uh, development thing just for everyone here as well. Wow, she just took a shot at you. Did you see that? No, I wasn't doing it. <laughs> Sounds like some bad leadership. <laughs> no, we've been so busy. It was a busy That is season. true. No, it, it, it is true. We have been busy. But yeah. uh, all right, well, that's good. Look, seeing the payoff is really important. You know, exactly. you put a lot of work into these things and, and then getting a little bit of that reward back and, and the atta boys, as we call them, uh, or atta girls. Mm. Ryan, we should Adam. actually we should actually start calling Ada you know, he she at a no, <laughs> nope, Adam nope, Adam. we're moving on quickly. Joe, get your act together and start leading again. That was so perfect. Wow. Oh, my Listen, God. Hold on. Wow. Let me ask you a question. She mentioned the training. How has that been helpful to you? Uh, I think just in terms of managing the client and keeping everything on track, like I was saying, like being in a leadership position management, leadership, the two go together, but just being able to be a leader and help people to be on board. Like if there's a lot of moving parts, you have to tell people, hey, this is what we need to do and kind of get everyone together on the same page. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Good, Someone's good paying attention, know, right? The, I know. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> oh, <there we> <laughs> Positive. Sorry, I'm too busy looking at myself. I'm not I, used to I this know, many I, cameras. It's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. I'm pretty sure you have this many cameras set up for all I of do. your selfies. I so do. I do. I was asking, what do you think have been the biggest positives over the last year? 
there's a lot of team spirit here. I think there's a lot of good camaraderie and I think there's hard work and I do think there's reward. And I think there's, and they, that does come with a lot of the leadership as well. I think we're all able to sort of celebrate because we work as ourselves. We're, we're not meant to be anyone else. And we, we put to the paper who we are as a team. And I love that. Well, that, that's well said. And it actually brings me to a very special question that I have that is not on the script. Is this self-serving? Oh, What's hold on. No, I swear. I swear. Wait, can I, just, I swear. Can I go to a visual really quick? Uh, that depends on what the visual I mean, is. Yay! Yeah. Was this the magazine cover or it, was this a replica of the magazine cover? It's like a, it's like an inception kind of moment. This is wonderful for me. No, this is not what I was going to talk about. All right, so. uh, what I want, and it could end up being self-serving depends on how this answer goes. So for the last year, we have been playing or competing to see who has the most warmth and personality displayed at their workspace. I think rigged. we need to, I think there needs to be a winner. I think there needs to be a winner. I, I mean, look, we could send Mo in and he could take a look at the spaces and, and you know, pick a winner. I, I don't know. That seems risky. I'll be honest, but there's got to be a winner. There's got to be a winner. We have to minute, decide Ryan, right now. If there has to be a winner, are you saying that there has to be a loser? Uh, two. Two losers. <laughs> I'd like to turn the table for a second. You've been asking us a lot of, oh. a lot of questions. Oh, crap. Oh, and so I'd sort of like to just take a moment and to ask oh, <laughs> Ryan left. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what has it been like on the other side of welcoming other members onto this team? Oh, that's an excellent question. Joe's going to answer it. Welcoming other members, huh? Yep. Sorry, I feel like I have somebody watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> yes! Camera, Camera three. three! Camera three is on board. <laughs> well, I mean, it. look, I think it's great welcoming new team members. What is really important to me is trying to find the right people for the right roles and that meet, that are kind of fit into our world and our culture and our environment. And you two guys have been exceptional. You've been great. You brought energy and a lot of smiles and just a, a really a lot of good attitude in. And that makes everything so much better. And that's why you're here. That's why we are celebrating one year. I mean, this is that's major That's when the music stuff. should have come. Ah, he misses Kim. <laughs> misses Kim, you know? But no, I, that, that's my answer. I think you guys have been great. And I love welcoming new team members in. Thank you, Joe. How about you, Ryan? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I am a big dynamics guy, right? Ryan's also a chart master. I, <laughs> I am also a chart master. Um, I'm a big dynamics guy, and I think the thing that is always oh wait hold on we, we can't we can't let this go. Oh god! Yeah, <laughs> your your office looks like a oh, total my. mess. That's oh a disaster. my god! That's a disaster. Wow. wow, you're going off screen. That's there wow. is no warmth or charm in that office. Wow, oh, man. I've got no words. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, anyway, getting back to my uh, my spiel here. Um, I'm a big dynamics guy, and I, I for me personally. Anytime new people come into an office space, it's really important for me that they gel and they mesh and that they they get the vibe that we're looking for and they add their own flavor to it. And to say that you two have done that would be an understatement. Um, so I, I don't remember exactly what the question was, if I'm being honest. I feel like I was just, just praising you in, in some way. I'm a big dynamics guy, big chart guy. Um, <laughs> There's, eh, never mind. Oh, forget it. Oh, no, but but aside from the fact that you're both very bright and that you know you're you're picking all of this up, um, you know, very well. Uh, I think the fact that you're nice to be around and that you bring an energy and a spirit and you help build that kind of team, uh, uh, you know, as you called it, a lot of team spirit. I think that is really nice to have and, and something that I'm that grateful that said. both That's of really you bring. Nice, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Nicest wow. thing he's ever said. Well, it is nice. I'm, um, you know, a lot of warmth nice and personality. Guy. I just kind of ooze it. Oh, you can check even. out my desk, and don't maybe you, you might even you might even say it's the best. I don't no. know. Unacceptable. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, ladies, do you have any other questions for us? I mean, now we're uh, now we're warmed up. Now we're in it. Now we're. You have to give him one. Give him a hard one. Mm. <laughs> what would you say is the most challenging? This part is for Ryan. Teaching this is for Ryan. two people 
coming into an industry that they've never been a part of before? Well, that's actually uh, a really good question. And you know what, Joe, I'm going to take this one. I think the biggest challenge is taking what you know and you've built up understanding of. Now, remember, when I started, right, I knew nothing. I, I, I knew very, very, very little. I was in bands, but that's basically all I was bringing to the table. I could plug in my video game consoles, but that's it. So I yes, started you out. A singer. You were a singer, so you only showed up with a microphone. You that's right. And I didn't, I didn't even plug in the microphone. It was already there. <laughs> Somebody else had spit all over it. I have to, you know, anyway. Ew. So I don't remember what the question was. Uh, oh, right. So the biggest challenge I would say is taking the things that you've built up an understanding of over the course of eight plus years at this point and um, trying to organize it. And so it's really more a challenge for me than it was a challenge that, you know, either of you brought because it, it is kind of our standard is that a, a lot of the time we're looking for people who have the soft skills and not necessarily are, you know, grounded in technology. So, it, again, it's creating a mental framework of understanding that is then easy to communicate because the problem is then it, it's just so easy for it to be like, oh, you need this, 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 and this, and this. Why don't you understand that? It, it's hard to, like I said, provide some sort of mental framework and structure. And that's honestly why the charts have been so helpful, because to me, it helps me organize my own thoughts, right? It helps me organize and, and compile and create a framework and a structure so that now it's easier for me to explain that to people. So uh, I would I would say that that is my answer there. Joe, do you have anything to, uh, to, to contribute there? No, I have nothing to contribute to that question. There we go. I, I'm, he was I'm young Ryan to... with a... I'm just going through the comments. <laughs> what do you mean was young Ryan? <laughs> what is this was? Yeah, I mean I don't want to say anything, but I'm I'm north of thirty, but just barely. I'm now thinking my mom is not watching, so I'm. Just I don't very think your mom is watching. I'm but, so disappointed. <laughs> but if she does watch the recording later on, she yes. can like, comment, share, okay. and subscribe. She could do all those. Absolutely. And how come yeah. LinkedIn is it two words? It's supposed to be one word, I think. But Joe rates these, so. Huh. I'm yeah. the Gramercy, Gramercy. I'm the Grammar Police. Wow, the Gramercy Police. Nice. I'm the Gramercy Police. I think we're getting very off track. I, I don't have no idea what question you asked, Ryan. Something about organizing and. Uh, you know, what was the biggest challenge of of assimilating I mean, two team members who don't have a technology background? Well, I too don't have a technology background, and here I am. So it, uh, to me, that's not that's not a big deal. You know, 17 years ago when I started here, I had zero technology knowledge and some, including Mo, might say I still don't have any, but uh, <laughs> it's just not, you know, you can learn things and that's just the reality. The, one of the most exciting things about this type of business is that it is constantly changing and you have the ability to just constantly change as well. And you, mm -hmm. you always get to learn new things and, and that, that's what makes this great. I mean, the two years of the pandemic just accelerated the learning so much faster um, that that's why we're in a position we are today. That we're able to do things that a lot of people can't do is the reality because we had to learn and we wanted to learn. And I think those are the building blocks for anyone's success is the have and the want, you know, and you guys have been great. You've wanted to learn things. And, and so you have. And I think that's a reason to, uh, to celebrate the one year. I mean, this oh, is this Thanks, is right. Joe. Yeah. Thanks. You're the best. We also celebrate birthdays way more now. So this we is do. great too. Yeah. Oh, and God, we, we're back. And we never we're had back. camera three before. So. No, we did not. <laughs> it travels. It goes to all the different spaces. I love it. It's so confusing, camera three. <laughs> I think it's driven by the person operating it. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have headphones in, so we can talk about him all day. Great. He has no idea what we're saying about him. Even though I did almost throw my headphones at him a few weeks back. But it's okay. It's okay. We, we got through it. No big deal. Well, this well, is just exciting. Listen, it's coming to that time. And you guys have been exceptional guests. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. And the only ones we've had live in the Corporate AV lounge slash studio. That's true. So, I mean, this, it's because of you guys. I'll take it. Wow. We're doing big things I'll back here. Big things. <laughs> big, big. It's a really Hashtag big, big, big things. things. Oof, I, I didn't move that quick on that one. Okay. No, you didn't. Women in AV, <laughs> Women in AV guys. You got to get a hashtag going. This is. 
I, I know this is this, <sighs> it's too much for me. This is so much, I think that, that with a space, one with a space. Oh, all right, I'm gosh. sorry. Now you're just tried. hashtag big. That's so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I mean, this is oh hard, my man. God. It's I a don't, lot you guys of work. don't even know. I am sweating. It's so much nice. I now know how our clients feel with the podium special. Yeah, right. The, <laughs> the first thing you'll ever hear. These lights are so bright. I can't. It's so bright. <laughs> well, that's what the camera needs, okay? Oh, here we go. Look at that. You know, Dardano. It's so nice. You're just a good guy. So nice. I expect a one-eyed photo coming our way at some point soon. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was not as nice. But either way, it's still fairly true. But, uh, you know, you can't always be nice. This has been a great show. Alexa, since you've been a co-host oh. in the past, wow, I would like to see if you can close our show out and remind people where they can find us next time. Are you asking me to take Ryan's position and do I'll just go. Than he does it? <laughs> He's on mute. It's yours. Go for it. Perfect. If you want to find us, you can find us on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and we'll be here every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You can catch the little smaller clips. They'll be coming at you tomorrow and Friday. And yeah, catch us back then. <laughs> nice job. So over good. and out, Layla's. <laughs> over and out. She's got a catchphrase and everything. I don't have a catchphrase. Mm. Well, she's been on the show as much as you have. <laughs> Shish. <in the> last, <laughs> last <few> <laughs> well, listen. This has been a pleasure, everyone. We're going to wrap this thing up. Thank you, Marissa. Uh, thank you, Alexa. Thank you, Dane. Thank you, Maurice. Thank you to all my fans. <laughs> Thank you to no, thanks to mom, because she didn't show up. Mom, you didn't show up for me today. Thank you very much. Ouch. <laughs> Better luck next time. All right. All right, we're taking this show out off air. Thank you, everyone. We're out. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. See you Everybody's next. got a catchphrase but me. <laughs> Go for it.